Okay guys, I wanted to make a video going over the differences between TBC Arena and Shadowlands Arena, as well as what to expect when playing one over the other. This video is primarily for people who have played Retail Arena, specifically Shadowlands Arena, and who want to know if it's worth it to try Arena in TBC. So I'm going to split this up into three categories, which are the ease of access into Arena, the fun that's involved in each type of arena, as well as the overall balance of comps in each arena setting. Going into it, let's talk about the ease of access into the arena. And one thing is going to be the leveling for TBC Arena, which has been made easier because of the boost to get you to level 58. Now, going from 58 to 70 took my slow ass 40 hours to do. So, if you're a quick leveler or a mage, you can shorten this time dramatically to level, but for an average person, this will take a while. So if you haven't already leveled up a character and you want to get into TBC Arena, expect a grind. But once you're at max level, now you have to go and get some honor gear or alternatively raid gear, depending on the class and comp you play. For example, if you're a rogue player, which is me and hopefully a lot of you guys out there, you can actually get away with no honor gear outside of your trinket and still hit over 2k rating, a potentially rank 1 rating if you're goaded, just for having really good defensives built into the class and a comp like Rogue and Mage, which doesn't rely on resilience because you want to kill the enemies quick. However, if you are a healer or DPS that plans to play with a healer, Getting resilience is going to be great and mandatory if you want to hit high rankings to survive the burst and crowd control of comps like Rogue and Mage that will kill you at the start of a game. Now, this grind will take ages if you're Horde and be a massive grind if you're an Alliance player, because honor values are messed up as they are set to 2.4 honor values instead of 2.1 honor values. If you're Horde and you didn't grind in the pre-patch, I recommend getting your Trinket plus your 2 set bonus from your Honor Gear, then getting random TBC Resilience Blues from the open world, as getting the gear from PGs is going to take you over 100 hours, maybe 200 hours, maybe 300 depending on queue times and the slow Honor value. On another note, one thing I do find quite annoying about TBC Arena compared to Shadowlands is having to find an Arena team. In Shadowlands Arena, you can queue up with anyone on your faction in your region, regardless of the server. In TBC, however, you can be kind of shit out of luck because you're locked to your server and faction. If your server doesn't have very many PvPers on it, for example, then get ready to transfer to a better PvP server, or if your arena partner takes a break or doesn't log on for whatever reason for a few days, get ready to potentially start another arena team from the ground up at zero rating, or wait days until he does come back online without being able to queue arenas in that bracket. And I'm not advocating for cross-realm type of arena teams or anything like that. I actually do like the RP element of knowing everybody on your server and the good PvPers, good PV PvEers, and everything. But the one thing I do not like about TBC compared to Shadowlands is the fact that you're locked to an arena team and you can't do things like you can in Shadowlands where so your buddy doesn't come online, well, just find somebody on the LFG or whoever and who has a similar skill, queue a few games with them, maybe go down personal rating or whatever. Then when your buddy finally does come online, you can queue up like nothing happened. Whereas in now, if you ever have any drama with the arena team or anything like that, you're, they can, you could get kicked off the team or he finds a better partner, you, you don't get any queues and you know, you're kind of stuck to the group of people in that arena team. Now, what's the balance like in TBC compared to Shadowlands? In Shadowlands, I will say arena comps are much more flexible as all healers can be played to rank 1, all DPS can be played to rank 1, and sometimes even tanks can be played to rank 1 with a variety of comps for each spec. And this is where Shadowlands beats TBC, because some specs in TBC are outright bad, or the comps good, uh, good specs have are limited. So take for example TBC Mage, which generally can play with Rogue and Mage, Mage and Priest, 4-2s, or RMP and RLD, or R RLP for 3s, give or take a Druid for healing over a Priest for these comps. Yes, Mage is absolutely insane, but Mages need to have uh, specific teams to be considered S tier, whereas in Shadowlands, every class has its time to shine, and the arena matches have more variety. Also, TBC Arena has racials that can literally make or break a game, such as 
humans using perception to get an opener and obliterate a rogue in 10 seconds flat, or undead making fear obsolete, in a lot of cases to bulldoze a priest healer who needs time to get away from a rogue before he dies. But don't get me wrong, skill is very much needed in TBC arena, but there's a lot of RNG, limited comps, and broken racials that can make the game quite frustrating. Okay, so closing thoughts on the differences between TBC Arena and Shadowlands Arena is that TBC Arena is going to be kind of like the Wild West, kind of like any WoW Classic game is going to be. There's going to be a lot of imbalance between racials, comps, and things like that, and there's going to be, you know, a lot of RNG and frustration tied with it. And, of course, barrier to entry, which is common for the Classic era of WoW. But, barring all that, I still do think that TBC Arena is more fun than Shadowlands Arena because while there are counter, counter compositions and RNG that can kind of be frustrating, games are over quickly so you're not really stuck fighting a dampening game or a frustrating comp for an extended period of time. Usually you run in, you'll die or you'll kill them maybe luckily within like 30 seconds or less and you can go to the next one. right? And I do like that gameplay a lot more because in Shadowlands, everybody has so many defensives and offensives and healing that games can be really frustrating and hard to end. And I think that's why I prefer TBC Arena. And if you're a Shadowlands player, I think you should really give TBC Arena a try. I know there's a huge barrier to entry with getting the arena gear, um, an honor gear, getting certain things like that. But with the upca upcoming PvP changes with honor gear being dropped from uh, reputations now i believe it's honored uh, in the next upcoming weeks getting into tbc arena is going to be a lot easier you can just get honored which doesn't take long at all you can just do the questing we'll get you honored for with these reputations and then you can get that uh, pvp gear and then hop straight into tbc arena and have some fun so if you're a shadowlands player go ahead and give it a try